So, earlier in the year, I made a video where I did the worst possible thing I could think of in Borderlands 3, meshing together the Deathless Artifact and the Rough Rider shield. And I was really surprised by the reception that I got. It was just surprising how many people watched it and how many people liked it. Uh, and I was very happy about that. Thank you to everyone who saw it. However, since that time, I have found levels of hell below what I previously thought was the bottom, to a point where we are going to see how you can literally make Borderlands 3 unplayable. Literally, I am going to show you how you can make this game so intolerably hard that you cannot fire one shot without dying immediately. However, real quick before we get to that, I wanted to make mention that one of the commenters from the last video had given me an interesting idea. Uh, red card plus deathless is funny. I wouldn't say good, but certainly funny. Now, for those of you who are not aware, uh, obviously deathless puts you down to one hit point and doubles your shield capacity. Red card is a shield that allows you to slide directly into enemies, and it takes all of your shield points, puts it into damage, uh, but then you're out your shield until it can recharge. Uh, so I thought to myself, well, hey, might as well try that. So here's how that went. Spoiler alert, it didn't. I am not good at sliding into enemies. I never was. But I appreciate the idea. Keep them coming. Okay, so let's talk about our fresh hell. Uh, Rough Rider, you're probably familiar with. It's a zero shield capacity shield which would be fine if you actually had a life total to speak of. Uh, this is the most current iteration that I was working with. Uh, and then the Deathless Artifact, which uh, actually puts your life total down to one, but you get 100% shield capacity, which again, we don't have a shield capacity. But what do we add in? Well, we add this in. This is the Alchemist machine gun. The red text says you can't gain something without giving something in return. And what they mean by that is when you fire this gun, you damage yourself. Let me show you. There you go. Uh, I am actually in Ellie's garage. Oh, there. Yes, this is something I didn't know about. If you are in the garage, Ellie will just heal you. Thank you, Ellie, Next for that. Let's do that again to show you that it's not just a random occurrence. And we're back and fight for your life immediately. And hopefully somebody... Yes, please. Please heal me. I'm an idiot. Okay, but it's one thing to be able to do this when you're on the ship and people can revive you. It's another thing when we take this out on the road. So here we are at the Shattered Tribunal. And let's see what happens when I try this horrible idea on the takedown at the Guardian Breach. And just because, why not, we're gonna do this on Mayhem Level 10. So as you can tell, as the map and the fog of war goes away from the map, I had not done this at all, so I didn't even know what to expect when I went into this. All I knew is that the second I encountered an enemy, things were probably not going to go well for me. Okay, and there's a little hoppy thing, and I punched myself in the face. Basically, that's what you're doing in this particular game mode. You're basically just punching yourself in the face immediately as you enter the battlefield. And there is nothing I can even do in Fight for Your Life mode. I'm getting nothing, and I'm dead. Let's try that again. Alright, here's something I can shoot. And I am down. And, and it's not even doing any damage. I'm so surprised with this really terrible mechanic of hurting yourself by shooting the gun that this isn't doing more. Oh, I don't even understand how the alchemist is useful. I, maybe someone could tell me what scenario this would be used in. So the next thing I wanted to try was just to see if I took Mayhem Mode off altogether. If I could get anywhere playing like this. So, here we go. Alright, there's a piece of the local fauna that I can shoot and I am down immediately. Okay, but can I get second win? Come on, come on. No whammies, no whammies. No one can do the- Hey, got a second win and down immediately. Okay, no, 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 let's see if I can get a second win again. 
Come on. Okay, yes. Second wind. Okay, great. And uh, down again. Okay, uh, yeah, yeah. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Three in a row. T uh, nope. No. Okay. Two. I, I got two down on a regular mode. With, with OP weaponry. So, it's going great. And so this should be the end of the video. I've shown that you really can't do anything with this combination of gear. And uh, that should be it. Case closed. Moving on. And I'll show you this fascinating clip where I opened up an outhouse and got two legendaries. But the thing about it is, something was bothering me. Something kept nagging at me in the back of my head that there was a thing that normally happens here that wasn't happening in this scenario. And so, I took a bit of a walkabout and came back to this recently. I even got some new versions of this gear and realized what was missing. And that thing that was missing that makes this even worse was a modifier for Mayhem Level 10 that is normally on for me. The modifier is simply called Rogue Light. It's a very hard modifier, and basically it eliminates Fight for Your Life mode. Uh, the second you are down, you automatically have to respawn. So hey, that seems like torture. Let's do it! I'm gonna use the Trial of Instinct to demonstrate this. We're gonna get attacked by some jabbers here. Let's see if we can get a shot off. And no, I am down immediately, and now I am dead. Well, that was fast. It's at this point I started to realize that the enemies are inconsequential to this game. They don't even need to be here. See? They, they haven't even gotten a shot off. Because, of course, I, I'm going to punch myself in the face and instantaneously die now. There is literally no way I can see that you could possibly win this game, let alone even get through the first act of this game. I mean, the sad thing is, right there, I didn't even fire a shot. I think that the fire from the torch just killed me. I'm pretty sure. I, there's no way you win this. If anybody wants to torture themselves so much, try to beat the game like this. Go for it. I dare you. I double dare you. There's a hundred fun bucks in it. It's probably the currency in-game. And considering that I have like millions right now, I'm sure that I can, you know, give you some of that. I've lost a lot of it in respawns, obviously. But this is, uh, this is the new fresh hell that we've come up with. So, uh, don't do this, folks. Don't try this at home. I do not advise it. Now, there are some eagle-eyed viewers that are probably saying, but Nathan, it looks like there's a lot of loot around right now. How'd that happen if you die instantaneously? Good question. Because, as always, Iron Bear is always going to be awesome. No amount of shenanigans are going to stop my explosive machine guns from wrecking everything in their path. It's just not going to happen. So I guess the caveat here is you would also have to not use Iron Bear. Iron Bear still has on this level uh, like, like one and a half million armor points, so... Yeah, as long as you're in Iron Bear, I guess this works out perfectly fine, but I'm not technically using my equipment, so I don't really think that this necessarily counts. And of course, from a sustainability standpoint, the second that Iron Bear ends up running out of fuel, I, I come out here and I die instantaneously again. So, this was my weekend. So that is it. That is finally it. I am calling it, this is the worst way to play Borderlands 3. It's official. Put it up on the thing. There you go. Worst way to play Borderlands 3. I'm saying it. So, obviously no one is going to challenge me on that. It, I, I, I Go ahead. Try. I, I double dare you. Try. Prove me wrong. Okay, I don't actually know why I was getting so confrontational there, but if, if anyone has any other suggestions for things that might be somehow worse than this, I don't know. Maybe there's a way that you can literally uh, die in Borderlands 3 without even firing a gun. It, 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 if there's a way, I have not found it yet. 
However, I will end on something of a useful note. Uh, in case you are looking to get legendaries and you want to try and get them quickly, I don't usually see people talking about Gigamind as the boss battle that you can farm, but I've always had a lot of luck with uh, taking him down. It's kind of just a short jaunt uh, in Promethea to get to him. And as you can see, it's actually pretty quick to take him down. I'm just actually just going to jump in Iron Bear here so you can see just how quickly I should be able to get him down. Uh, yeah, so he's, he's instantaneously dead. And just look at that wonderful bevy of legendaries that he has left for me. Like, let's see what we've got. Like, literally, there's one, two... That's uh, something... Three, four, Nighthawken, there you go. Five, that's pretty great, okay. And six, oh, a new Bear Trooper one, I'll have to look at that later. And that's not all, though. That's not all, because over here we have a red chest. We can open this up and see, boom, there we go. Okay, seven, that's seven legendaries. And how long did that take us? It took no time at all. Your results may vary, but try it out for yourself. See what you get.